Hi, we're going to talk about some fresh uh, fruits today, melon varieties and some tree varieties. Um, these are all typical fruits that you'll find in your local grocery store in the produce aisle or a roadside stand, um, depending on where you live. The first one I'm going to talk about is the, the pineapple um, and some of the melons. A good indication to determine whether a pineapple is ripe or not is by color and by feel. Um, you'll notice the two differences between these pineapples here. This one has more of a darker green hue to it, and this one has more of a lighter yellow. The lighter yellow is a good indication that it's nice and ripe and sweet and ready uh, ready to be eaten. The ones that are a little darker green uh, just need to sit around in the, in the windowsill for another day or two um, before they fully ripen. What you want to avoid here, though, is if it gets to be dark brown, it's overripe and it's begun, it's begun the decaying process. So you want to avoid pineapples in that state. Another indication of whether they're ripe or not is if you take the leaves. In a ripe pineapple, they come off very easily. Um, and in, in one that still has a few days to go, you'll notice that it's a little bit harder to rip these leaves off of. And um, so that's a really easy indication of whether it's ripe or not. Another variety of melon, we have a cantaloupe here. Um, cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon, pretty much have the same characteristics when you're looking at what is fresh and what is not. Uh, you want to look look at where the vine was attached to the melon. Um, you want to make sure that it's free of any uh, discoloration or any uh, bruised marks, and it's nice and firm and soft, to, uh, you know, firm to the touch. Another thing you want to look at is a consistent color. In a cantaloupe, um, the color should be a nice, nice tan color. Um, these could probably stand to go another day or two, but um, the, the flesh is nice and firm to the touch with a little bit of give. You can also start to smell that nice uh, nice sweet smell from the cantaloupe. Um, so that's another good indication. Knocking on them, shaking on them, those are all folklore. They really don't help you in determining whether it's fresh or not. Moving on to the tree fruits, we have some apples here. And of course, there's uh, a ton of different varieties of apples. We're just focusing on the red delicious today the most common variety that you'll find in the grocery store. Um, again, you want to find that where the, where the stem is, that it's nice and firm, no signs of bruising, no decay, uh, no mold, and it has a really nice firm texture and vibrant colors. This really nice deep cherry red um, is a good indication of a nice ripe apple. These are our citrus fruits here, our oranges and lemons. Um, both of them have pretty much the same characteristics. The flesh should be dry, nice, firm to the touch, but not hard. Um, a little bit of give, but it shouldn't be soft. Um, again, you can tell another way is by the stem, where it was attached to the tree. Um, there's no signs of decay, nice color. It's nice, firm to the touch, a little bit of give. Um, and then by the smell. It should smell like a citrus fruit. If you're getting a bitter scent or no scent at all, then more than likely it's overripe or not ripe enough. So, I hope this video helps you the next time you're uh, purchasing some fruit.